I'm Oenrula and I am an expert in full stack. In this video, we are going to talk about CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheet. CSS is used for adding style to an HTML page. Normally, HTML is the language that is understood by the browser and we try to make the page more beautiful by adding CSS. There are three different types of CSS, inline, internal and external. Let us look at the examples using Visual Studio Code. So this is how the editor looks like. This is VS Code or Visual Studio Code. I would try to create a new file which would be a text file and I would choose an extension here which says select a language and I want it to be an HTML file because we are adding styles to an HTML file. So let us begin coding. So this is how a basic HTML file begins and ends with the HTML tags. Let us save this. I'm using a shortcut control S in order to save my file and I would give it a name inline CSS. So my file is saved and you can see the name of the file over here, right? Let us start with the body of my HTML file and I will try to display a content say welcome to CSS. I would save this and I would open it on a live server. The advantage of working with a live server is that whenever I make changes to my file, every time I save the file, I do not have to open the file again on the browser. It would automatically load the changes made to my file. So here you can see that this is my file name and this is welcome to CSS. But don't you think that this looks a little normal? Let us try to make the page more beautiful. Let us go back to Visual Studio Code and inside body, let us add the attribute style. Give it a particular value, say text align. I want my text welcome to CSS to be aligned to the center. So let us choose text align and let us choose a value center. Let us also give some background color to my background which says PG color let's pick up a very light color for ease of readability and here we go let us save this and let us go back to our browser this is my updated file with the updated background and my text is displayed in the center of the page very simple and this is how we implement inline CSS in an HTML file. Let us look at the second type of CSS file which is internal CSS. I will create a new file again and it is going to be a text file. I will select the language say HTML and I would start again. This is HTML and this is my closing tag. All right, let us save this file, save as in case you are not fond of keyboard shortcuts, you could go to the file and then select this particular option, save as and I would name it as internal CSS demo. Okay, now the basic difference between an inline CSS and internal CSS is that I include the styles in the head tag of my HTML file. So I would mention the head tag here and inside the head tag, I would also mention the style tag. All right. And let me add some content to it. So this is my body tag and again, welcome to CSS. Let us just try to change the font size and the appearance of the font here. So I would say font and I would add the style here. Let me make it large, say 40 pixels and let me also give it a color which is blue. 
Let us save this. Let us try to open it with the live server. Okay, so we do not see any styles applied here. Let us go back to our code. Since my content is inside the body tag, I would have to use the body tag here. And here, instead of size, I would just mention font, size and the color. Let us save this. Okay, so the font size is enlarged and the color is changed to blue. One last example of CSS is external CSS and we would just make a very, very small change in our existing file. What I would do is I would again go to file, create a new file, but select the language, I would select CSS here and I would save it using the same extension. I would save it using Ctrl S since I am fond of keyboard shortcuts. I would save it as external underscore CSS underscore demo. Okay. So, the small change over here is just select this particular code. I am just doing a cut paste and I am pasting it inside my CSS file. Saving this and another small change here would be deleting the style tag and including a link tag in order to link my external CSS file. Link and I would tell my browser that hey this is a style sheet that I am using to make my file look more beautiful and I would give it the link of my external underscore CSS underscore demo dot CSS file. Do you see the suggestion? Guys, this happens whenever we are trying to store the file inside the same folder. Okay, right. Let us save this. Okay, and let us come back to the browser. I see the same output. Okay, that is all guys. We will learn some more concepts in the upcoming videos. Thank you.